three, two, one. You should be in your seat. God, please bless us for this pastor movement and pray for El and Heli Hotting World. And please bless us all. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Oscar. Big round of applause for Oscar. Okay, guys, it's boss time again. Are you happy? Yes. All right, let's stand up. Come on. Volunteers, Kathy, come forward. Big round of applause for Kathy. All right, guys, you ready? Ready? You can jump, you can fly, you can dance. You tell them what to do. Would you like them to jump? Okay. Kathy's going to lead us in the enthusiastic group.
they are only Jesus. Okay, now let's welcome Coach Joe. Let's welcome Coach Joe. Do you remember how many phrases we have learned? Four. Okay, we will say together phrase number one. One, two, three.
so I will seek the opportunity to know his plans and purposes for me. I'm prepared to take risks to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I will accept the challenges of life to become God's reason of great purpose. I will I will learn to be strong. I will honor and serve God. I will work faithfully and diligently with my friends and fellow men. With God's help, I will stand tall and not be afraid. I will think and act for myself. I will face the world and say, This with God's help I have done. All this is what it means to have a life of purpose. Wow. This is very good. Okay, this is our homework. You know, you still remember that, right? Okay, don't forget to uh, say it every day and every day, okay? Because it will be given to you, okay? Let's welcome Coach Julia. Some students here would like to give testimonies about what boss has done in their life. We hope you enjoy them. Who wants to go first? Whoa! Pick me, pick me! Yeah. All right. You ready? When the first time I learned boss, I feel very bored. But when I try to understand all of the scrolls, and I feel that I am like a new person and I get closer to God. I like this boss very much because the pledge it makes me feel I have more self confidence than especially when I do my presentation. When before I learned boss I have no confidence. But when I learn boss I have more self confidence. Thank you, dear and happy, thank you for making boss a moment and my pledge to Boss has changed me a lot. First, it changed me. It changed my attitude. It makes me be more patient. Second, it changed me to be more confident and to speak with audience. Third, it made me have more faith to God. Thank you all and happy and friends for teach and making this was the movement. The first day in was the movement, I feel very, very afraid because I had to join this program. 
and after that I learned to be more self-confident and less joker. So we can do everything and with God's help we can do something more and we also can be more patient to our friends, teachers and also our parents and families. Before I go bus, I don't have any self-confidence, but when I join bus, I think that my self-confidence will be no more and more. Bus has taught me to change my bad habit into good ones. Uh, I have uh, to change my bad word into good words. Boss has helped me to become a good boy and always believe in God. The way to do this is the first way today I begin my new life by replacing my bad habits with the good one. For I now know I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Since I learned boss, I have changed a lot. The first thing that I learned from boss, which is very important, is self confidence. At boss, the teacher always taught us to not be afraid and always and the teacher always support and encourage us to do things better. So I think my self-confidence increased in boss. The next thing that I learned in boss, which the teacher always taught us, is that we must be a leader rather than a follower. I think that builds me a lot and I really enjoy learning at boss. So thank you for all and happy for making me. Boss is one. I have lots of things to do in boss that makes me feel confident. I'm sure that if I can be more focused in boss, I will be a leader because what the coaches teach us is to be a leader rather than a follower. So, I found many different changes in my life. Thank you, Ellen and the for making boss a movement and thank you to the coaches that already teach us. I am so blessed. You may be seated. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was going to have you stand for those session. <laughs> I am just uh, delighted to be here with you, and I want each one of you to know that Hattie Hollingsworth, when she was your age, I was very shy and fearful and introvert. So every one of you, what you're learning at your age now, when you grow up, you're going to be the leader, not going to. You are leaders. And you will be leading others. Just allow God to use you. And remember what you're learning. Amen? Amen. 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 You are a wow group. And one way, Jesus, I am just so blessed. And then to get here and see Jeff and all of my Manila family is like, oh my God. God is good. All the time. You know the rest of that? All the time. All the time he's good. Amen. Now, this is my personal coach. <laughs> well, I just want to say that I, too, am so excited about what God is doing in your life. I saw enthusiasm. I saw your ability to stand erect and shoulders back and hand to your side and be able to be master of your emotions. And I'm excited about the leadership skills that you're learning to take risks. I've known some of you were a little uncomfortable. I saw on the other side where one person was a little uncomfortable and wanted to stay in their comfort zone. But yet they had the word and the training of how many weeks? Oh, how many weeks? Nine, nine, nine weeks in you. And now in spite of your fear, you are able to execute courage. You were able to overcome your fears. And I want to just applaud you and say how excited I am about what God is doing with your birthrights. And I heard you mention birthrights. So let's say them together again. What are they? Confidence, courage, hope, belief, faith, and trust. But let's add one more to that because as it goes out, it's confidence, courage, hope, belief, Faith and trust in God as the source of your hope. And so as you are moving into being that leader, it's not just trust and trusting in yourself and your own ability, your ability to be all that you are and master of yourself, sitting so erect and head up as kings and queens. 
It's your confidence and trust in God as the source of your hope. And so again, I just wanted you to know and I want to acknowledge your leadership, your trainers and the, the, the team leaders, the, the founders of this awesome school and program. Just acknowledge you and parents, I want to congratulate you. You've made a great choice in having your young people in this program. Not only is it a program that's touching Indonesia, it's a program that is in the Philippines. We've just come back from the Philippines and we're finding out that young people, their grade points, do you know you're getting smarter too? While you're going through this class and being disciplined, your grade points, your, your ability to retain and learn information is increasing. And your ability to be able to follow through with decisions, those are things that are happening. And so I'm excited about you becoming three percenters. Have you all been taught about a three percenter yet? Yes. What is a three percenter? I'm going to ask you, what is a three percenter? You are a leader. You are a leader. And so is anyone prepared to tell me their name and express themselves yet? Have they learned that yet? I'm going to see who is expressing greeting process. Greeting process. Greeting process. Yes. Greeting process. Yep. Remember okay. greeting process? Who can give me the greeting process? I'm going to see if I can see the birthrights. What are your birthrights again? Uh, Eugene, is it Eugene? Eugene? What are your birthrights? Confidence, courage, hope, belief, faith, and trust. Yes, are you, are you gonna show me your birthrights? Are you prepared? Taking a risk? You can do it! You Come can on. do it! Come on, you can do it! Whoa, look Woo. at the courage! Wow! Ooh, look at taking a breath. Okay, let me have one more. Who is going to uh, work with you? Pardon? Have you worked with them? Uh, introducing yourself? Okay. Do, have they gone? Hello, my name, is, my name is? I'm a 3%er. I'm from Chidahadi Elementary School. And God has called me to a purpose. Yeah, remember. Got got another one. Remember. Are you ready for that? You're ready for it. Yes. So with confidence. Heads up. You're confident. Ready for it? Power. Yes? Good for you. Who else will I see that's going to operate in their birthright? Where do I see it? I see one, two, do I see one over here? Anyone that's going to operate in their birthright? One, two, are you ready? Rhea, come on up, Rhea, I see it. What are your birthrights again? What are your birthrights? Confidence? Courage, hope, belief, faith, and trust. Absolutely. Let's give Rhea a round of applause. Great job. They both know their birthright. So you're ready to have the greeting process. Jeff, are you going to do it? I can do it. You can uh, do it. No, you let's, let's see you do it. I want to just see the birthrights executed in the greeting process. Okay. You remember that? Ah, I don't know. Let's see if you know it. You ready? Hello. Hello, how are you? No. Okay, you hello me first, okay? Hello. Hello, how are you? No, you hello and I hello. Hello? Hello. Hello, how are you? Perfect. My name is Francisca. I attend the Hathi Elementary School. I am a true presenter and God has called me to a purpose. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! 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 So again, I want to congratulate the leaders and I want to congratulate you, the students, for being so awesome. You truly are leaders. Have you anything else? And to the parents, thank you for entrusting your young people to the boss program and the leadership here. And uh, Alan Halley, being entrepreneurs, we're business people, and we're constantly encountering people that lack birthrights. They're brilliant, they have all the makings to be a tremendous success, but out of fear, they don't reach their goals. So we thank God for allowing us to be able to impart into the lives of the young people through the BOSS program that they can be all that God intended for them to be and more. Amen. Okay. Okay.
question. You guys got some questions for Alan Hattie? Yes. yes? Who wants to ask some questions? I can't hear you. Nice and loud. Come and on, confidence. How many persons join the Western movement in the world? How many? There are literally thousands, and uh, I don't know the numbers of all of them in the United States, in Africa, and throughout Asia, Japan, and Switzerland, but there are literally thousands all over the world. So we're so excited about what God is doing, though, here in your nation with you. Amen. All right, who's next? Sing Jin. Where have you been to teach boss? Where have I been? Yeah. Boss began in no, Africa. She said, where have, where we have we been just now, or where have we been in the entire time of boss? The entire time. Oh, time. okay, I thought that. It began in, have anyone heard of Compton, California? Compton and Watts? Have you heard of that? Many times it was on the news because terrible things were always happening there. And Hattie grew up in the inner cities of Watts and Compton. So I'm the original boss student. When I met my husband, he began to train me in my birthrights. And I mean, I'm shy and timid to stand before people and speak. Oh. I go hide under a chair somewhere. But boss started in Compton, then it went to Washington, D.C., and then it went all throughout the U.S., and then it went over to Africa and Ghana and South Africa and what's the other one? Ghana, South Africa. Oh, it's one of them. Uh, Switzerland? No, Africa. Oh, uh, Kenya. And Uganda. Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> Kenya. And Kenya. And in Switzerland, and then boss just began to go all over. And then in 1996, we were at a ministry, sharing their ministry, and a prophetess spoke to us that Asia is calling you. Asia is calling you. Asia is calling you. And we said, huh? So we just waited for the call. And about four years ago, Manila in the Philippines began to invite us to come and share bombs. And from there, Manila, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Jakarta, Jakarta uh, China, and then Taiwan. we have to remember, we had also been in Japan sharing, but it was with the military. So it made it difficult. Every time we trained somebody, they would get shipped off to somewhere else. So bosses just began to be spread all over the world. And guess what? Many times when you meet other boss attendees, people that have been through boss, you're going to have some things in common. The minute you speak, right? Amen. 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 Well, we are finding that they are enthusiastic. You know, because to be enthusiastic, you have to act enthusiastic. And so what they're learning in the BOSS program is they're learning that they have to be master of their emotions. And most of our kids, that after the young people that have come through BOSS, they're learning not to let their feelings dominate them, but they choose to the feelings and emotions they have because they have become master. So when we come and they are prepared to receive us because they've invited us, they show that enthusiasm because they choose it. All right? Just like you, as you're sitting here today, all in great, you're making a conscious choice. And I'm sure you've come to learn about now. In that zero to five seconds of now, you're making a choice to be master. And so other students, just like you, are being masters of their bodies, their thoughts, and their speech, and their enthusiasm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Can you speak that? Okay. Oh, I'm going to let Hattie speak to that, but can I? The question should be is, how often do I speak with God? I practice speaking with God, and but more than speaking with God, I practice listening to God, because He is always speaking. God is the great communicator. And so God is always wanting to speak to us and tell us what to do, where to go, and how to behave. And it, 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 through the Holy Spirit, He also directs our path and brings us correction. Just like when I was your age, I was out of I was doing something naughty. I was doing something I shouldn't have done. And I heard that 
quiet little voice in me saying, don't do that. That wasn't very nice. Have you heard that? Have you heard a voice like that? When you do something, you know I said good. You hear a little voice on the inside that says, don't do that. Have you heard that voice too? Yes. Have any of you others heard a voice when you're doing something wrong that says, don't do that. That's not nice. Yes, yeah, we all hear that voice. And uh, yes, I have been learning to listen to that voice for a long time. Just like you, and I'm glad that you're beginning to hear it more and more through the leadership of your trainers. One more question. Who's going to be? Why and how you make this program? <gasps> For us, we learn to hear God speaking. And God had been calling us to start a ministry. And we kept saying, just a minute, God, let me do this, and then... Remember I said we're business people, so business always kept us busy where we always wanted to put off what God wanted us to do. So finally, after many years of God calling us and us saying, just a minute, God, let me, God put a stop to it. He brought a screeching halt, had the business put on the back shelf, he had our full attention, and boss, while my husband sat, listening to God every day, he would go to the mountains, over the foothills where we live, and sit and be very quiet and still and just seek God. And as he began to seek God, did it happen right away? No. He was out there for about eight or nine months before he finally heard God. And one day he heard this voice, Alfred, what do you want? And he rebuked the voice in the name of Jesus. He just knew that was his flesh. But the voice continued, and finally it dawned on him. Wow, God is talking to me. And as he began to listen, he would sit there with his notebook and pencil, and God would begin to give him teachings, the very teachings that you're receiving now. God began to teach Alfred, first of all, then Alfred would come home and teach Patty. And next thing we knew, we were ready to present boss. Remember I said I grew up in the bad part of the city in Watson Compton? Our schools were going through a terrible situation. How many of you heard of the gang violence where kids are being killed? Have you heard that on the news here? Well, in Compton, at Watts, kids, if you didn't live, if you didn't belong to the gang, or if you lived in a different neighborhood, you had to be afraid. That stuff would happen. You would, I mean, many thousands of young people have died because they didn't wear the right color, or they lived in the wrong neighborhood, or they went to a different school. So God called us to make a difference, and we went into the school district, which had 13 schools, middle school and high school. And the principals were saying, there's no way this can work. It's dangerous. You know, kids would get hurt. Guess what happened? The kids came from all 13 schools, and they became a family. Do you feel like family in here? These young people from all the schools that the principals were concerned they were going to have wars and fights, these young people came together and they began to love one another as brothers and sisters and encourage one another, and they became a family, and we became God's family. Amen? Amen. Well, we are, I don't think we have time for any more questions. No. Questions are over. Our questions are over, but I just want to say again to all of you, you are so awesome. And again, I want to acknowledge, uh, uh, you know, Pastor Kong and his wife, Nancy, for just being the friendly generation. Pastor Kong and Nancy, I am so excited about what God is doing through your overall international and national leadership. So God bless you and God bless you young people. And again, to you, the founders of this awesome school, Congratulations for a job well done in Jesus' name. Amen.
Yes. All right. Who would like to close us in prayer? Annalyn, we're also here. Sorry, you can sit back. Do you want to sit down or stand up? Okay, stand up, everybody. <laughs> God, thank you for this day. We are so blessed for this day so we can all be together with our family, friends, and everybody else. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Kathy. All right, guys, you've done an awesome job. Thank you all very much. You may go. God bless you. And see you later. Jesus